In this video, I'm going to show you the rig that I use for fishing pellets. Uh, occasionally when I'll use boilies, pop-up boilies and normal boilies, um, or block rigs. So it's quite, it's, um, it's quite a simple rig. There's nothing complicated about it. I'm not going to go through the mechanics of whipping a hook on the, on the, to a hook link because we all know how to do that. What I, what I actually do is I'll just have the hook with a loop on the end of my hook link. My hook links are always 12 inches plus with an 80 or 100 pound swivel on the end. I've got a little bit of um, shrink tube on both sides on the hook and the swivel. The idea of the loop on the hook is so that the, the less metal there is, the better for the fish if it ever breaks away. It's got like, if it, you know, if it swallows it, if it swallows a whole lot um, and it's deep hooked and then get, you know, gets away, it's only going to end up with a hook in it. This one is a single hook bait. I've not put anything in the top to stop it. You know, I've not put a bait stop in or anything. So if I can get away without doing that, I will do. If I need a bait stop, I'll use a piece of grass or a twig on top. Again, it's less plastic. If, it, if, it pull, if the fish pulls that off, it's got plastic in it. It's not going to do it any good. I know they're going to say, oh, it'll probably get rid of it, pass through it. But it's just nice if you don't need to use it, then don't use it, basically. So there's there's a standard rig that I would use, and that would be the same for a, for a block rig. Now, I have a number of rigs made. Oh. I have them made up like this. And it could be, that could be a block rig, it could be anything. It could be eight boilers on there, eight pellets, whatever. But I always have them sort of made up. Now, the, the, the method I use, I'll change this up when I get a fish. As soon as I catch one fish, I get rid of the hook. If I haven't had a bite, and I want to change my bait, say, from single boiler to double boiler, all I'll do is, I'll get, just cut this off. I'll come up right up to the boiler, the pellet, whatever it is, cut it off, and then I've got my loop. I've still got my rig intact. Right, so I'll cut it off, and there's the rig, how it was at the start. So all I do now is take this other bait out. I'll just tie it round once. I'll hold the loop around there, and then I'll just pull this section hard. And it pulls it, it pulls the bait up to the end of the loop. So however long, however long you have that loop, there's your distance. Now all I've got to do is tie tie another, give it another tie, and then trim the end. And I can do this as many times as I want. Obviously, sometimes you're going to cut through your loop, but then you've got another rig ready. And there you go. I've changed from one single hook bait to two single baits, uh, to two baits. If you wanted, as I said earlier, if you wanted that, your bait closer to the hook, say like that, then just make your loop shorter, like that one. You just make that loop shorter. So that's the rig that I use for pellets, boilies, bottom baits, block rigs. That type of thing. Going up further up the rig now to the uh, from the uplink, and I've got three foot of tungsten tubing on my line. So there's my three foot. I put that onto the uh, line. I've then placed the twelve mil bead onto the tungsten, and if you notice, the beads moving up and down. Nothing's fixed, nothing at all is fixed. I've also got rubber sleeve. I've got the, the sleeve there that goes over the swivel. That comes off. So the whole lot, if I pull this down now, and you never pull tungsten, always push it down. And it's the same when you're putting it on, do it that way. So now there you can see, if I take this off now, you see, there's me uh, sleeve, there's me bead, and there's me tungsten. 
once you've got the tungsten on your line it'll stay on you don't have to take it off then the reason i do this i, I work like this is because if it's if it snaps above the tungsten and i get cracked up on a bar or something we get you know rubbed off on a bar then the fish is swimming around with all this lot but all this will come off it will eventually come off so it's all breakable there's nothing there that will tether the fish coming down to where my lead weight goes i use a ceramic run ring i make these myself and i use a little poly ball this is a sponge one it's a cat master ball this one um a popper and what i've done is the baiting needle through it i'll just take it off and break this down i put a clip in put a small clip on there and then i'll put a little circlet one of these i'm not sure what you call them but i'll put one of these in it so that i can change my lead weight anytime i want to the, any size um, and the free running with it being a ceramic run ring it allows it to run smoothly and it won't catch anywhere the ring is large enough for the tungsten to go through and it'll just slide up and down the idea of the ball is just to lift it up a little bit because once you've got your lead weight in the water if that was your weight that would be sat in the water like that just lift it up slightly away from the bottom um, and again, these aren't that strong where, depending on which ones are used, uh, mainly I use the ones that break apart like this one. I have that there, I have a clip on, like I said, and then I have one of these clips that's actually broken up on me. Um, but yeah, that's the rig I use. And again, you don't need... Um, if that was to snap off, like I say, all this lot just comes free, everything. There's nothing there to tell the fish. And it's about the easiest sort of rig you can use. Very, very simple. Pretty safe for the fish as well, as, as safe as you're gonna get. I hope you've learned something from that. Um, like I say, this is the way I do it. And it's not the way everybody does it, but I just think we should be thinking of the fish more. And, and the less metal, the better for the fish. That's it for this video. Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've gained something from watching it. And if you would like to see other sort of features, articles, rig diagrams, videos, plus um, a featured fishes list that I'm putting together on the website, then take the time out. Please take the time out to go and visit the website and have a look around. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.